I'm Marlo Safi with National Review. In parts of the world, Christians are facing what has been described as genocidal levels of persecution. When news of Christian persecution reaches us here in the States, it's usually following a large-scale attack, such as the 2017 Palm Sunday church bombing in Egypt by ISIS. But smaller attacks, often without a death toll, happen every day. Daily discrimination and harassment at the hands of both fellow civilians and the government is causing the Christian population in the Middle East to drop precipitously. Egypt's Coptic Christians face this type of persecution every day. The Copts are Orthodox Christians, descendants of the ancient Egyptians who trace their faith back to St. Mark the Apostle. Cops have described the persecution they face today as being the worst wave in 700 years. In 2011, 21 cops were killed in the Alexander church bombings they were leaving in New Year's service. A few months later, a church was set on fire by Muslim men who were angry that a Muslim woman was involved with a Christian man. In 2015, 21 cops were beheaded by ISIS in Libya in a video that circulated around the world. These are only a few examples, but cops face ongoing violence toward their community, such as abductions and forced conversions of Coptic women and frequent street harassment. Last week in Minya, a province of Egypt, Muslim Egyptians damaged Coptic property during a celebration of a Coptic woman's conversion to Islam in her home village. This week, three Coptic homes were destroyed in Minya after a rumor that a Coptic man had allegedly broken blasphemy laws by insulting religion on Facebook. Facebook. While these latest incidents don't receive the amount of media attention that larger attacks do, they highlight a lack of accountability from police and the sectarianism that pervades Egyptian society. Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi has upgraded public rhetoric by calling for understanding by Muslims of their Christian brothers. But American-based Coptic advocacy groups such as Coptic Voice say that more needs to be done and that to improve conditions and religions tolerance in the country, there will need to be more than just upgraded public rhetoric. There needs to be on-the-ground action and the international community's awareness of the persecution of Christian populations abroad.